Hey everybody, it's Blue Toto. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, let's see. We did, uh, started on the, the fountain last time. So now, going back to the previous galaxy, we have a completed Good Egg Galaxy, but there's no more stars available there to us for us to get. Uh, but Honey Hive does still have a star for us to get there. So let's go have a look at that. Okay. Big bad bugadoo bug bug ah. bugger boom. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. Ah, the whole Amandibug clan has infested our kingdom! Oh, that's not good. Let's take out some of those then. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Take you out. And I didn't realize that this music is slightly different now. A bit faster and a bit more chaotic, I guess. Anyway, let's take out these things, these prior plants that are up here, since we didn't go up here last time. Ow! There's also an area over there that I didn't go to before. But anyway, in this pipe is a secret area of such yeah, controls. Ow! Oh my goodness, I probably don't want to spend too much time here if I'm going to accidentally kill myself. There's a lot of these boulders in here. And I don't think there's anything else, question mark? Oh, there's that though. That question mark coin. Ow. Oh my goodness. Taking these things out is a little bit risky. Oh my goodness, how am I not dead? I might take out this other one before trying to see what that coin's all about. The camera is a problem for this one because it stays in the same position but follows you. So you have to work with the angles to try and take out these boulders. Okay, please, thank you for not killing me. Okay, let's see what that is. Oh, that would have made everything easier. <laughs> There's just a rainbow star here to take out the boulders super fast. But I wasted it because I already took out the boulders. Good job, me. I did it. At least I got the rainbow star, and it's cool. Right? Right? That's all that's important. Also, <laughs> that just... Oh my goodness, that's funny. When you, you, when you kill those... bugs with the, um... the rainbow star, it makes it look like you flatten it just by walking over it. Okay, let's grab this. Life up mushroom, super mushroom thing. And I don't know what exactly I'm trying to do. Well, starting off, I should probably grab the bee mushroom. Since that's probably useful. Okay, the... Ah, uh, what's it called? The homing ground pound doesn't seem to work. While... A bee... Oh, this is a bad place to be as a bee. Because I need to keep out of the water. And those bubbles count as water, so... Need to avoid that. Silly Mandy Bugs, they get mad and only can only charge in one direction. Okay, good to know. Thank you. I guess. Anyway, there's nothing over here apparently, but there is this bee. The neighbors are causing trouble again. Ah, uh, we would be most grateful for your assistance. Okay, there is actually stuff over here. With this launch star. Let's go. Okay, let's keep going. Fly, 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 fly. I mean B, not a fly, a B.
But we have to take out a boss here. Which we need to ground pound on. But of course it's not that simple since it can now fly. So, if we use these flowers to stay up nice and high, we can also do that to ground pound you. It also shoots bombs on the ground when it's flying. And it likes to turn and twist so it's harder to get on it properly. But anyway, it's done. So let's go grab that star. And then that's probably everything in this dome for now. discovered a new galaxy in the fountain. I probably need to go there, but first, we have a comet as well in this dome, so we can do that before we move on. I probably don't want to get everything in a dome before moving on all the time, but I want to get comets when they're available. Just because they're not always around. Cosmic Comet in Orbit. Honey Hive Cosmic Mario Race. So basically, the way that this works is... ZL to crouch. Press P. Yeah, we know how to do it with backward somersault. So... This Cosmic Clone, which looks like Mario, but is Galaxy. We need to get to the star before he does. Otherwise we die. Long jumps are your friend, obviously. And back backwards somersaults, I guess. Let's go. Go quickly. We don't get B-Mario for this, we have to know what we're doing. Careful, 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 careful. And... Go, 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 go! There we go. If Cosmic Mario gets to the star, he'll just sit on it and you, you can't get it, so... But there we go, that's what a Cosmic Comet is. Pretty simple. And I think, after doing that... No? Okay then. I was gonna say I thought that would be everything in that level, but apparently not. Let's look at the map. Yeah, apparently there's more there to do. Which is surprising. Actually, maybe not surprised, so surprising. I actually think I know what, it, what is left there. But for now, let's go back to the fountain and actually have a look at doing some more things there. Okay. And I think if there are no comets in orbit, I can get them to be in orbit, possibly by using the the special comet comet luma to move them. Enemy base spotted. We're detecting a massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? I don't know, what are they doing there? We'll find out, but we still have uh Actually, we have done one thing in each level so far, but I want to do more than that. We also have this secret planet that we need to do some other things for. I'm not sure if it's based on how many stars you have, or if it's based on what you've done in the other levels. So let's go back to Space Junk Galaxy for now. Camilla's Airship Attack. Okay, multiple 
uh, star shrooms. And Captain Toad. Mario, my brigade boarded the enemy fleet and none have returned. As captain, I would go save them myself. But I must too... I'm much too busy at the moment. And scared. <laughs> oh, good, good. Good job, Captain Toad. You did it. You're busy and important and you're not going to save your Toad Brigade. Anyway, let's take care of this Goomba in the middle of these boxes. Get rid of some more. We can flip this switch over here to lower the bridge. Um, what else is here? There's a question mark block with uh, star bits in it. I feel like if I'm... Oh, I don't, want to, I don't think I want to go up that way. I mean, I could, but I don't think I should. Okay, well, let's go over this way. Okay, these guys, these rabbits, star bunnies, I believe they're called, are here to show you to jump higher by jumping and spinning. Well, we should know that already. To get stuff that's too high to reach, jump and then spin. Okay, cool. Let's break that open, and let's use this sling star. Okay. Let's unscrew that. Oh, three star bits, apparently. And even more, if we get that. And it looks like if we ground pound and then jump, it does a higher jump, maybe? I'm not entirely sure about that, but I don't think it's that useful. Either way, so. Let's grab that coin. Save the toads. Hit the treasure chest with a shell. Pa pow If you're carrying a shell, shake the con controller or press Y to throw it. Okay. Well, let's throw that in this at this chest then to open it. The other thing is, if you spin nearby a shell, it will go to gravitate towards you, so. And once you shell th throw a shell... Shell a throw, you know. It did just uh, go forever, basically, until it disappears and respawns. Please. There we go. Anyway. Let me just throw that into there. Also, I believe. What did I just do? Oh, I, I held down the crouch button and pressed the Y button, or sh shake, I guess, works as well, to um, spin kick around yourself. Also, I believe if you long jump, hang on, long jump spin or something, or spin long jump or something, you can do an attack like that, but I can't remember how exactly it's done. It's been too long. Oh, hello. There's that over there. I'm going to check this quickly. This pool star. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. There's star bits in here. That's cool. Not very important, but cool. Anyway, sling star out of here. And now, let's deal with these things. Stupid octopuses blocking my way. I bet a few shells would take care of that little problem. If we hit the, that octopus with a shell, dot dot dot, I wonder what I need to do. If a shell is just out of reach, you can still spin to pick it up. Thank you for that word of advice, it's actually kind of useful. Oh my goodness, dodging the fire. Can I grab, grab you please? You also kind of bounce up when we grab a shell. Oh, I miss terribly. What's in here? Oh, red shell. I don't think that's any different. Or maybe it's homing. It's probably homing, but I didn't throw it in a direction that would make it need to home in on anything. But anyway, take out those oct octopuses and we get to go over to this final ship. So now we have Camilla as a boss. And Camilla's got a magic wand built from a power star on the, the top. So we're going to need that. And these uh, green magic spells 
if they hit the ground, become shells, or you can just spin to get, get the shells straight away. Red ones become fireballs, of course. And those will roll around a bit. Well, let's just hit you with this, please. There we go. Now for the next phase. Spawning some underlings to... Ow, take me out. Oh my goodness, I can't remember how to... Spin kick. Oh, I missed. That's not good. That kind of works. Oh, get away. Lots of fireballs. Give me a shell. Thank you. Now let's hit you. There we go. Anyway, I really like that boss. It's a good design. I mean, it's not the best, but, you know, it's still alright. I like how the wand is made out of Power Star. And I like the gimmicks for the boss, so... Here's the map. Nothing else to worry about. That's Sling Star again. And that wasn't the one I was hoping to get in Space Chunk Galaxy. I know which particular star I want. And I think it's probably the third one, if I had to guess, since it's not the other two. Ah, uh, Tara... Tarantox's Tangled Wet Web. Okay. Also, those blue crystal things over there are... Drop star bits when you... Break them open. I'm pretty sure. A brave brigade te toad, a brigade toad, went to search for a power star. He went off to that planet and hasn't been been seen since. You think he's okay? Guess we'll find out. But now let's sling ourselves or pull ourselves over to here and get some of these star bits. Whole bunch of star bits. Yeah, let's keep going this way. Let's see what we can find. I like how you can also see different parts of the level, even if you don't go there, in particular stars. It still makes the it just makes the world feel more alive, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a few more star bits, and there's also another hungry luma over here. Hey you! Yeah, you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 50 bits, star bits, to curb the hunger pangs. How many do I have? I can't tell from here. 35, so we need a little bit more. I probably should have killed that spider for another three. Uh, I know that somewhere on here is an entrance over here. We can also get back out again as long as we're here by backflipping and then spinning, so... Going in here isn't a huge problem if we want to get that hungry luma. You can also get the Hungry Luma and then just continue with the main star for now. If, if you want to do that, which I'm probably going to do. Okay, that's enough star bits. So I'm going to go feed the Hungry Luma and then get back out here for the rest of the regular star. Wow, you really need to be in the middle to get enough height. There we go. Hello, Hungry Luma. Oh, in the right position. And let's go. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! A new planet was born, which looks like a Yoshi. I'm not going to do that just yet, though. I'm pretty sure that stays unlocked once you've done it, so we don't need to worry about having to collect the star bits next time we try this. We just need to select the right star and then do it. Okay. Let's use this 
launch star here and hopefully get some star bits. No? Oh, oh we will. <laughs> that was fast. Anyway, down over this way, we can see our goal. And the music has changed. A lot more ominous now. Oh, hey, there's the Toad Brigade member. You gonna speak to me? Help! I'm stuck! Aim your cursor at me and press A. Or, and hold, by the way. Or tap on the screen directly to pull me out. Here, let me pull you out directly in a way towards that one over there. How was I still able to talk to him? I had the prompt come up. But anyway. Let's keep slinging you. Guess over to that ship. Probably don't want to sling Toad off into space! I think Toad's okay. Oh yeah, he, he's... Toad's completely fine. Yeah, because of gravity. Phew! Thanks! Ow! I'm trying to kill spiders. Get out of my way. Okay. Let's go in this direction to keep going all the way to the bit that we need to get to. There's another sling thing. I don't know what these are called, but you know. Let's just launch ourselves into the middle of that planet over there. And then let's... Oh, hello, you green toad. Oh, I accidentally broke out a coin. I broke out another coin. Can I go down, please? Talk to Toad. Eek! Mario, what is this thing? We'll find out soon enough, won't we, Toad? Well, let's sling ourselves into it. And now we have to fight this thing, which you need to run away from its goop because its goop is bad for you. And if we can get all the way behind it, possibly... And then shoot ourselves into it in the green bit. Its weak points reveal it themselves, and let's get rid of those if we can. Come on. Didn't mean to break that coin out, that's okay. Last one. Okay. It's not over yet. And now, several different points on its body shoot out the goop. Ah, the goop, it burns. You can take out those points by slinging yourself into them. But we should be alright to just get around. Maybe, maybe not, you know. We can sling ourselves to go faster around him as well. But there we go. Let's just take these out if I can. We have to do it in different slings, unfortunately. So let's do that again. And last one. There we go. So now, let's just sling ourselves into the star. Doing well so far. 18 stars. We've discovered another galaxy. Oh, and there's also a comet. And a hungry Luma has appeared. There's a lot of things to do, so I don't know what the best way to go about doing everything is. I might actually go see that hungry Luma to see how much I need for it. I might have enough. It's probably a thousand or twelve hundred. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need four hundred. Really? Oh well, I've got plenty then. Feed me! That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! The Sling Pod Galaxy has appeared. Well, I, I guess that's what those things are called then, Sling Pods. A very sticky situation. Oh my goodness, look at this place. Look at all the star bits, actually. That's a lot of star bits. 
I wonder if I can get 400 <laughs> in this one go. Probably not. But if I can, that means that I wouldn't have wasted or spent... I mean, wait, wait, wasted. Wrong, wrong, wrong word, right? Right, right. I'm not, I didn't waste any star bits on this level. I missed. I missed. No. Well, I'm dead. Well, if I keep dying like that, I might be to get 400 star bits. There's also something else I want to test at some point. I don't know when. Oh, please. Okay, we have to sling ourselves from sling pod to sling pod without dying. Okay, I'm not doing this on purpose, I promise. We have 51 already, and we've gone two steps forward and 16 steps back. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I don't think I want to go the risky way, so I'm going to go this way if I can now. Grab all those. And then go across quickly. Okay, and now we can sling ourselves over this way. And then immediately go into the pool stars. We can't hold on to the same pool star for too long, otherwise we'll let go. So we need to be careful about that. Don't, don't fall, please. Please, please, please. Okay, let's pull ourselves into this sling pod. Okay, there's also... Hang on. There's also that coin over there, which I'm guessing means something. Pull ourselves back. Okay, so there's a lot of star bits along here now. Which would be good to actually not take, so we can actually have a better guide on which way to go. But it's difficult to not accidentally take them, so... Grab all that, and let's... Oh, this is going to be risky with these all these flame bars around me. And go. Okay, and now we need to get to the star without accidentally hitting one of those things. Go now. Too late, too late, early thing. Ah. I never said I was good at this game. <laughs> I don't think. Anyway, here's our first invisible checkpoint we've actually had to worry about or be happy with since it really did save me just now and gives me a lot more star bits as well but yeah so this this is this was a checkpoint luckily so let's grab that giving us some more star bits to add to my huge collection why is there so many star bits over there okay also I've nearly made all of my star bits that I lost back with to almost 300. Go. Okay, now I need to make sure I don't mess up this shot again. Because that was bad what I did last time. There we go. That was a very sticky situation. Anyway, I made so much of my star bits back. Okay. Oh, but I missed the 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 thing, didn't I? I missed the I missed the comet. Ah oh, well. Switch. Yeah, I missed it. That's a shame. Well, it'll be back at some point, so it's not too bad. I did say I was gonna try and do them them do them when they were available. Oh well. It's not available now, so I guess I'm still not wrong. But it's just because I forgot about one being there and then missed... It's fine. Everything's fine. There will come times where there are multiple available at once, so I have to pick one or the other, so... Anyway, this galaxy is now available to us. Hurry, scurry, galaxy. Shrinking Satellite. By the way, this is the entire level. Mostly. <laughs> There's a little bit extra, but still. Anyway, it's time to learn about what these panels are. Are you gonna tell me, Toad? You've got glasses, you must be smart. The floor falls away when you step on it. Be careful. Falls away isn't quite how that works, it's more like it shrinks to the middle and then disappears. So you need to go somewhat quickly. Let's grab that. 
I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. It's dangerous, I tell ya. Okay. Time to get as many coins as block as possible, and then let's go to this planet, which has a black hole in the middle. And these platforms are going to disappear, so we're in trouble. So, let's get as many of these notes as we can. Hopefully. Oh, this is the wrong way. That's fine. So fine. Well, there we go. Once you get all the notes, the black hole disappears and is replaced with the star. But now, obviously, I want to stay up here as long as possible, because what else would you do? I mean, you have to make the most of the satellite while well, it's still here, right? Just like real life. Okay. Use up as many places as possible. This is what killing the environment looks like. Anyway, there's all that done. Now let's just fling ourselves into space, apparently. Anyway, the gravities were going to eventually pull us into the star. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Well, there we go. Galaxy complete, obviously, because there's not much to that galaxy. But there we go. And that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.